How's it going everyone? Kyle Gamroth here again, Casper City Council Ward 2. It's been a while since I put out some video content, kind of a crazy past month uh, for me. So I thought I would put out this short video in regards to a couple Oil City News articles that were published this last week. I was quoted a couple times in both of those articles, which I will link in the video description. Those quotes came from our July 6th City Council meeting at the very end of our meeting during a portion called Council Around the Table. It is an opportunity for council members to bring up topics of interest or concern to their colleagues, potentially put something on the agenda to discuss in the future. And uh, my peers on council know I, I take pretty full advantage of that opportunity. So uh, if you read the articles, great. If not, uh, I would consider uh, reading them. But uh, I'm a fan of direct source of information, and so I thought I would just share the video clip in full. It's pretty short so that you could see my comments in their full context. And then if you have any questions or thoughts, uh, as always, always more than happy to answer those. So real quick, we'll watch that video clip from our July 6th council meeting, uh, council around the table. Councilman Gamro. It's been two weeks. You know I got something. <laughs> I got a couple things, actually. I'll try to be quick. Uh, so went to the 307 Fest and Fireworks Festival over the weekend. Uh, that was awesome. A lot of great food trucks that uh, you don't get the opportunity to see very often. Great fireworks display. They've gotten a lot better about emptying that parking lot. So just wanted to thank all the sponsors and everyone that helped organize that. It was a great event. The MPO is updating their pedestrian and bicycle plan. They had a pop-up open house at Riverview Park this afternoon, and I believe they're at the farmer's market now um, until 8 p.m. So. Uh, if you'd like to give your input on, you know, how you get around Casper and any barriers you potentially face uh, trying to do so, those are great opportunities to get in touch with the MPO and give them your feedback. They also have a survey available. Uh, you can visit their Facebook page or I will post it on mine as well. Uh, Mills and Bar None, you might have seen, recently exempted themselves from newspaper notices. Uh, there was an editorial response from the TRIB, I believe this last weekend, um, and they bring up good points about government transparency and making that information accessible and easily found for all. Uh, that being said, I believe we spend, uh, I'm sorry, city manager, was it 70000 a year on? Okay. So we spend about 70000 a year as a municipality to publish those notices. Um, and I think it made a lot of sense back in the day. I don't think it makes as much sense these days. And so... Um, not saying that we should go the same exact route as Mills and Barnon, but we spend a lot of money on those newspaper notices, and I think there's more efficient, uh, valuable ways to be getting that information out to people. So um, hopefully that is something that we can uh, look at in the future. And then I also just wanted to give a huge, huge thank you to uh, Casper Fire EMS. Uh, sorry. Uh, my neighbor's house burned down this weekend, and uh, it was really scary. And uh, the on-duty battalion chief saw the pillar of smoke he was driving around, so uh, didn't even get a call in. The on-duty battalion chief saw it and uh, obviously recognized the signs. And so uh, I think I had pretty much every fireman except from Station 5 on my block over the weekend on July 4th. And um, uh, I, I can't thank him enough. Uh, my heart goes out to Sarah Shiloh and my neighbors and their family. Uh, pretty much a total loss for them. So... Um, uh, tragedy. Uh, there's. Uh, if you're interested in helping, I, I posted uh, an opportunity to help or donate uh, for them to get some clothing and uh, basic necessities and stuff. So my heart goes out to them. Uh, but my house was minutes. Uh, I mean, I have no doubt. Had they not responded uh, for another couple minutes, uh, my house would have gone on fire. And so, uh, just a huge, huge thank you to uh, first responders, all the all, all the firefighters that were out over the holiday weekend doing a lot of other things. But uh, this incident. Uh, was close to me, so I uh, felt it a little bit more. So huge thank you to those guys. Can't express my gratitude enough. Thank you. Thoughts, questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you next time.